Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Rachel Holmes, I'm the creator of Fitness Pilates and I endeavor to put all different styles of Fitness Pilates workouts here on my YouTube channel. So please subscribe, make sure you share the video, give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think. Always trying to do something fresh, different, make it a little bit exciting and creative. And today we are going to start with a standing position, moving down into all fours and onto the floor, just using one light weight. I'm gonna use a two kilo hand weight, but half a kilo or a kilo will be fine. It really will. So let's put your weights where you're gonna be able to pick them up really quickly. And let's do just a very brief mobilization, starting off with a pelvic tilt forward and back. So again, I'm really working on the lumbar pelvic area there to get it moving, a bit more mobile, before we go into the more, more difficult phase of this workout. Hold centre, and then move the hips side to side. And then just place the hands at the bottom of the rib cage, keeping the ribs really still. And circle round the hips to the right, and then to the left. Hold it in the centre now. We have a single knee left and balance. I've got one foot on the floor and one foot on the mat there. Single knee left. And let's go reciprocal action. And take the arm and the leg into abduction there, side to side. You want to feel this all around the lower back, the glutes and the thighs as you move into hip extension. Now, if you're feeling particularly stiff this morning, maybe um, you woke up feel too mobile this is a brilliant workout to do now squat sit back with the squat again and then add a roll down so drop the head neck and shoulders we thought we'll take eight counts to the bottom we'll roll up and then roll the shoulders back let's do that single knee lift again so it's a knee lift at the same time we're lifting your arm into abduction right and left there, there we go and then we move into hip extension. One more. Okay, let's squat. Sit back, bring your arms forward, squat one more. Now let's open the knee and circle the hips all the way around, squat. Let's open the hip to the left and then squat. Good, let's add that roll down. So head, neck and shoulders, ease it through. Five, six, seven, eight, roll up. Roll back, and then roll the shoulders back twice. Good, one more. Just for your ankle, lift up onto your tiptoes, and then flex back. And I've got a bit of an injury on my right foot, so I'm a little bit wobbly there. Last one. Okay, squat again, and then up onto your tiptoes. Here we go, one more squat, and then we'll start to pick up the weight, and we'll go. Beautiful, well done, have a shake off. Okay, let's start off. Right hand first of all. Now, left hand at the temple. We're going down into side bends just for four. One more. Now we add a squat with a front raise. Sit back and just holding the weight with one hand, just again gives these exercises such a different dynamic. And again. Always giving the body a fresh challenge. Come up, change sides. Here we go, side bend. There we are. And the weights really only need to be light. They need to be anything heavy. Here we go with your squat and your front raise. Sit back, only bringing the weight up to shoulder height. There we go, one more. Okay, the other side, here we go, side bend. Over for four. Three. Final one. Are you ready? Add the squat and reach forward. So again, the arm wants to be really reaching forward. Squeeze back into the glutes. Come up. Let's go with the other side. Side bend. Down to the left. Good. And we do another two. Another one. Here we go, squat down. So we'll go squat, sit back, and push. There you go, one more. Feeling good. 
Okay, come up. Keep it in the left hand. Now let's do it. One leg balance. Two more squats. Good, one more. Change to the opposite side. And single leg squat. Again, I'm really having to focus. So you're feeling this in the ankle, the knee, and the hip. Yeah, you've got it. One more. Okay, bring the weight to the heart center. You squat. Keep the hips square and rotation. Squat down again. Good. Left rotation. Excellent. Go again. Squat and center. You've got it. One more. Excellent. Add that rotation. Bring that weight down. Just do a bicep curl, but keep it tiny. Some weight bearing work there. I'll turn just onto the mat and we'll lift the arms up for two and then release it. Now this time take it all the way to the top. So we're going up for two and down for two. Go again, lift for two and down. They're gonna roll down. Now I'm gonna keep the weight, I'm gonna hold the weight, but if that doesn't feel comfortable for you, you can just lose it and do the roll up without. Good, into extension, now hold it at the top. We're doing lateral flexion right, and then left. Good, now breathe out as you go over. Inhale as you come back. Two more, breathe out. Breathe in, one more. Good, bring your arms down. Head, neck and shoulders, slowly roll. Good, come back up. Arms to the top. We go lateral flexion over to the right and then center. Yeah, bring your arms down. Good and release. Now we're gonna lean forward. We're gonna hold just the one weight in one hand. We're gonna turn around and we'll do four T bar rows. Now again, you've got to keep the core muscles tight here. Beautiful. One more. How's that feel? Change to the other side. Here we go. So you want to feel the elbows are really wide and the shoulder blades sliding across the center of the back. Good, change again, here we go. So we'll have four, three, squeeze again. One more, you can do it, I know you can. Here's your left, four, three, squeeze again. Lovely, one more time. Good, bring the weight down and then come up. Ooh. I'm going to hold it in your left hand. Take the legs wide or lunge, center, lunge across to the other side. Keep switching. So we bend, we get a stretch down onto the groin as we go down. Then we push, we come up center. Bend, feet down. Just two more. Again, moving from exercise to exercise. Last one. Okay, bring the legs in. Okay, we're going to roll down. Walk out. Okay, I'm going to hold the weight. I'm going to walk the hands out. Hold my plank position. Walk back in. Bend the knees and roll up. Roll back with the shoulders. Again, roll down. Head, neck and shoulders. Walk out. Good, we'll hold. Shoulders down. Now just drop the knees down one at a time. Take the weight and just hold. Now a couple of options. We're going to go into one arm shoulder row. Let's move that one to the side. Let's go on your knees first. Or one arm. Keeping the back very straight. Elbows high. One more. And then a switch to the other side. Here we go. So we pull back. Now, if you feel that you're strong enough and you can maintain the plank position, hold it. Now, one row, and then change hands. So, keeping the hips very stable as we pull back. One row. Good, good. Push back. Again. That's good. Last one. And then just drop the knees down. Push back. That's hard. 
coming back up onto all fours here. Again, see how you get on with this because we're definitely going to feel this one in the back of the shoulders, right in the back of the posterior delts. So again, keeping the shoulders down, we're going to take one arm. Now, you might want to balance on the knuckle on the other side. That would be fine if that feels better for you. So we'll do two count. And lift. Now, we don't need to do very many. This is, this is tough. Okay, hold it and change sides. So rebalance, here we go. It's two count, lift, and then down. Come on, you can do it. Always with fitness Pilates, we're working on the weakest areas. Good, now change. This time we'll go to the side. So we'll abduct. Lovely, one more abduction. Knee, go back onto your knuckles or your hands. Here we go. Two and down. Good, one more. Good, and then release. Just sit back. Ooh, well, that didn't work. That was tough. I'm going to angle my mat towards you. Now, coming into a kneeling position. So, right leg forward, left leg back. Okay. <laughs> We're going to start with the with the weight. It's going across the body. Lift out for two. So forward flex with rotation. So we lift up to the top and then bring it back down. So we lift. There we go. One more lift all the way to the top. Forward fold and release. And then change legs. So we start down here and we push up to the corner. Big rotation and then down. So we're up. You've got two more. Lift the two. Last one, here we go. Up for two. Good, and then bring it down, well done. I'm gonna turn you over. I'm gonna turn my mat around a little bit. A couple of exercises lying. Supine. Okay. So if you lie back, there we go. So we start with the hand at the top, we go into a pullover. So we're back for two. And then we come up and we add a curl. So we're back. Big stretch all the way. That becomes such a nice crunch. Breathing out as you come up and breathing in as you go back down. Again, one more. Breathe out. Two. Breathe in. Two. Now let's extend one leg. And then down. Change legs. So we're coming up for two. A little bit crunch. One more. Good, bring the leg in. Once again, curl. One more. And all the way, well done. Good, bring the weight over the top and then just balance it on the top of the pelvis. Bring the legs a little bit wider. Now we'll do some shoulder bridge with that lightweight resting on your pelvis. So when you're ready, you'll tilt the pelvis, you'll roll up, we'll come to the top of the movement, and it's halfway down, we'll do eight. So down, and squeeze. And again, initiating this movement from the glutes, from the hamstrings. You might feel that one glute is doing a lot more work than the other, try and be as symmetrical as you can. As we squeeze, we're down. Bring the knees over to the front. Okay, we're gonna take that big rainbow shape with the weight. Now again, if that feels too much, too intense, always lose the weight, do it out. And again, it gives you that extra dimension. You get such a great stretch as you go. And then all the way back. One more. Stretch over. Bring it back and then you can 
can change over to the other side. I'll just quickly turn around this direction. Here we go, let's go. So big, thighs together, arms open. Stretch. Take the head with you. This one more. This will definitely loosen off that thoracic spine, chest, and front shoulder. Take one more. And then let's lose it. Let's bring the knees into chest. Good work. And roll up. Well done. I would love you to do that workout all over again. Let me know what you think, if you enjoyed it, just use one way and we'll do some more. But again, love to get some feedback from you. So please remember, it makes such a big difference. If you like the video, leave a comment, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And by all means, share this with your followers and friends on your social media pages. And I'll see you in the next video.